Hello fellow woodworkers and welcome to this week's edition of the Garage Workshop 10 minute tool review and this week we're going to be thinking about the best place to get our tools and materials. Roll the intro. So fellow woodworkers, like me, I'm sure you have lots of different places that you buy the things that you use when you're making projects at home. And this week, I thought it would be just be good to have a look at some of the different options that are available here in the UK, and we can compare them to the places that you live. I know many of my subscribers are all over the world, so I thought it would be good to just have a little review of the shops around me so you can see where we get most of our things. And this week, I'm going to start with probably the most famous chain in the UK, B&Q. Now I should start by pointing out this is not an advert for B&Q or for any of the other stores that you're going to see in this video. This is more just an understanding of the places that are available to buy things. Now I should say straight off, I don't tend to buy wood in particular from a lot of independent uh, wood producers. I know there are lots and lots of places, uh, independent resellers of wood. I don't tend to use those because A, I always find them a bit of a hassle and B, I haven't actually got that many in my local area. Now, I live in Manchester and the B&Q that you can see behind you is the Trafford Park um, store. Now, within a 10 mile radius of my home, I actually have access to four different B&Qs. Now, that is the first advantage of shopping in a chain or a big box store. They are generally everywhere you look. And as I said, within 10 miles of my house, I know I live in a very big city, but within 10 minutes of my house, I can go into four different B&Qs. I've also got six different screw fixes within 10 miles of my house. We'll talk a bit about screw fix later. And I've got access to two wicks all within 10 miles of my house so for me i have got a great choice but are big box stores the best place to buy things so we're going to have a little wander around and i'm going to give you some of my thoughts and opinions about that the other thing would work as i should point out to you is stores like this don't always like people filming in them and as you'll know from my series last year when i was in america and i did the home depot and the low series i do have to be a bit careful doing that which is why i've got the high vis vest on hoping to blend in with the other people so let's make a look inside b q so as you'll see this b q is like many other b qs in the country it has an absolute mix of everything you could want it starts with gardening and all of those things and moves its way through to more like homewares and then off onto the tools so this is the homewares so one of the major advantages of a place like b q is you can buy all sorts of goods i'm here in the outdoor section and i can buy everything from full-size fence panels to decking to plants to flower pots so the selection and the range is absolutely massive and you tend to find that in being queues even in smaller branches they tend to prioritize things that are being used at home so this one i'm out on the outside it's absolutely massive it's probably as big outside as it is inside and i can literally buy anything i need everything from aggregate, sand, decorative, uh, pebbles, you name it, they've got it here. So that's the first clear advantage of a big box store is the selection. One of the other advantages of a big box store is they have the space in the room to sell whole kitchens, bathrooms, etc. And in my local B&Q, as you can see, They've got a number of full-size kitchens and bathrooms set out. So if you decide to go for a B&Q kitchen, you can come and see it in situ. And also, all of the kitchens, everything that you can buy, is also flat-packed, ready for you to pick up off the shelf. That's just the selection of sinks, for example. So you really do get A, a good selection, and B, you can see everything before you buy it. Now, not all every big box store is the same, and this one is a large store. It's the largest store in Manchester. Uh, and the other stores that I've got near me, the Wicks, etc., they're all a lot smaller and they don't have the same displays that you have here. But having said that, 
the cost of some of the things in this store and the quality uh, depends very much on what you're doing. Now, having said that, of course, the quality of the different units you can buy and the different kitchens does vary. Uh, I've got quite a few units and things in my house which I didn't put in that have come from B&Q and they're not the greatest quality, but then again, they're not the most expensive you can, unit you can buy. So another advantage is they do give you a range of options in terms of your budget. If you've not got a lot of money, you can find something that you can buy. And if you've got a bigger budget, you can generally get a better quality product. One of my main reasons for coming to B&Q is to buy wood, and we'll talk a little bit about that in a minute. But I do quite often find if I'm interested in a tool or if there's something that I want to go for, I will often come and see if B&Q has got it in and then I can see what it's like before I buy it online because generally you get a better deal when you buy things online. But having said that, all the big box stores do have really good deals on the ends usually. There's an air bar one behind me as you can see there. But they have got a range of tools which I think is pretty much unsurpassed. Literally all the main brands and manufacturers are here, but they do tend to have specifics. You get a lot of Erbauer and a lot of standing, a lot of makes like that. One of the recent brands that B&Q have started selling is Evolution. This is actually the table saw that I had at home before I replaced it with a new one. Now this is the island B&Q that I find myself in the most. If I uh, I'm in the middle of a project or I think I need to do something extra, something I haven't planned for and bought in advance. It's always great to be able to come here knowing that I can pick up exactly what I want. The disadvantage is usually they're a lot more expensive than if you buy them on Amazon or Screwfix or one of the other places, but it is very, very convenient knowing if you're stuck in the middle of a project, you can just come along and literally go and pick off what you want and you know generally they always have it in stock. For me, the key to being q is still wood. Now, when I was in Home Depot last year, I was really pleasantly surprised about the price difference between the wood not being that far away. In this being q you can pretty much buy any wood you want. They've got all the sheet materials that are here. They've got them in different sizes. You can buy OSB, softwood plywood, hardwood plywood. They've got everything you need and of course, they also have a little bit of a bargain bin, which I've mentioned in my videos before. Apologies, by the way, if you can hear the terrible background music. So every week when I come, I always check the pile to see if there's anything worth looking for. So let's have a quick look. So not a huge amount in the pile uh, today. Quite often you'll find there are nice offcuts of pieces of plywood or something like that. It's mostly just offcuts of worktop and packing materials. And the other key advantage about B&Q is it has one of these which is the timber cutting uh, saw i have used this so many times and really taken advantage of it and it's a fantastic uh, piece of kit to have so any piece of wood that you buy so for example if you bought a sheet of plywood they would cut it up for you get six cuts for free and if you're a trade member you get unlimited cuts but for the average woodworker who has got a normal size car and doesn't want to cart a full sheet around with you that is a really, really good, really handy service. I know a, load, a lot of timber -like yards do that as well, but for me, one of the key advantages of coming to a B&Q. The other thing about B&Q is they don't just sell um, wood that you need for bigger projects like plywood, sheet wood. They do also sell hardwood and some really nice pieces of wood if you want to do that. I personally think they're expensive. So this piece of wood here, which is uh, furniture board, it is 1.2 meters long is 47 pound uh, which might not be too much but if you're building a project it seems like a lot to me but it is there and it's, it is available if you want to come and buy it and again they've got all the door linings everything that you need for any project at home now of course one of the things about having a local shop on your doorstep like this is you do get tempted sometimes to go more often than you should and spend more money than you should and the only other thing about big box stores is sometimes you have to be careful with the returns policy um, I've had a few issues and you'll have seen in my video when I did the uh, review of the high end die compressor I've had some issues in particular with this store with returning and taking things back and although it's easier to just go back to the place you bought it, sometimes that's not always easy or as straightforward. So let's have a quick look at one or two of the other shops that I use to buy my stuff for the garage workshop.
Okay, so the next place that I like to buy a lot of stuff is uh, Screwfix. Now, Screwfix is uh, a retailer and it's one of those places where you can order things online or order things from a catalogue and they have hundreds and hundreds of one item just sort of stored in the back. The reason why I use Screwfix a lot in particular is it's fantastic for things like nail screws, all sorts of fixings, you name it, it sells it. Now, they don't always have everything in stock and quite often you have to order and pick it up uh, the next day. I would show you inside by have asked and they won't let me film uh, inside for the channel but the other thing about Screwfix which it has in common with B&Q is it is open all the time it's open till eight o'clock um, it's open seven days a week and literally anything at all you need all the way through electrical plumbing anything to do with woodworking tools the lot you can buy all of it in Screwfix and it's very very reasonably priced so Screwfix is the place I tend to get all of my fixtures and fittings if I am organized enough to get them done in advance let's move on to the last shop so this is the next shop we're looking in which is Wix's which is a very similar uh, equivalent to B&Q please let me know in the comments if you have big box stores in your country I know my uh, videos are viewed across the world so if you're in Australia New Zealand obviously America I know some of them but Wix has a very similar thing to B&Q so let's go and have a look at what's inside So Wix is very, very similar to B&Q, as you can tell. It has all the bathrooms, kitchens, and it sells all the same sort of products that B&Q uh, sells. What I think is different about Wix is they have a lot of their own brand uh, products, and the quality of their products is generally really, really good. I do use Wix for um, lots of smaller things like fixings and things like that. I don't buy wood so much here, although they do have a good with selection but it's very similar in terms of layout so let's have a look around. apologies uh, for the music but as I said a lot of the same uh, things that B&Q has what I like about Wix's wood is generally it tends to be a lot straighter uh, than B&Q and they do have a really nice uh, selection they don't have as much in terms of quantity but they have a nice section and the other thing is this Wix is only quite small it's probably a quarter of the size of the B&Q that we were just in but even so it still has a really really good selection of wood and when I decked out the garage workshop and I put all the insulated plasterboard in, I bought everything from Wix because it was more cost effective. Wix also has a full selection of power tools and they also sell Bosch tools, which they don't sell in a lot of other places. But you can come in and pretty much buy anything, including the uh, Wix own brand tools. I don't actually know who they're made by, uh, but they're very popular. So along with screw fix, one of the other things that Wix is known for is its uh, screws, bolts, washers, everything. But interestingly, the make that you can see uh, here, the Wix make, is exactly the same packet as the bolts and things that you get in B&Q. What I like is they've got a massive amount of fixings and you can buy everything. You can buy the SPAX fixings here, uh, which are very popular. I always tend to buy uh, Wix screws if I'm doing a project because I just think the quality of their screws is much, much better. Um, and obviously they have a really nice wide selection. So one of the main reasons that I shop in Wix is because of their fixings and screws, etc. So fellow woodworkers, we're back at the uh, garage workshop. I hope you enjoyed uh, this week's video and I'd be really interested to hear in the comments where you buy your wood, where you buy your tools, where you buy your materials, particularly if you're in a country other than the UK. Obviously I'm a bit more familiar with the US because I used to live there, but other countries I don't know. So please let me know in the comments. If this is your first time at the garage workshop, please can ask you to subscribe, like and comment. If you're a regular viewer, please can ask you to like and comment and I'll catch you on next week's edition of the garage workshop. Take care fellow woodworkers.